at Network Entertainment. Like I said, it's a two-way street. It's to help them be responsible with their own business ventures. So, yun. Usually, sa business talaga, eh, pag nagbabankrupt, pag nagkakautang sa suppliers, and then here comes the suppliers, lalo na if it's a sole proprietorship. Uh, sa pro- sole proprietorship kasi in the business, all of your assets, personal assets, is included. Eh. Oh. So, once the creditors come, And your property relations is conjugal. Everything is conjugal. You cannot. The creditors will now be able to tap in into. So they can go the for pool. that condo you're protecting. Correct. Yeah, oh, that's right. Okay. So it's to protect you from from that. So a prenup will stop that from happening. Correct. Ah. The prenup will stop that from happening. Okay. Kumbaga, these are exclusively mine, so you cannot touch that. These are not his. Right. Yeah. Hi, this is Mirza Season. Welcome to You Can Do This, a podcast that'll help you achieve your dreams and goals one episode at a time. What are you waiting for? Let's go! We all know that life is unpredictable and so is love. We may love someone so much today, but things change and people change. And it's good to know that we can arm ourselves with practical wisdom and a legal safety net that could protect your heart and your assets. Whether you're walking down the aisle or curious about your options, join us as we uncover the knowledge you need to protect your financial future and to empower yourself in love and in the law. Back on the show after our hit episode, Dating Red Flags from an Annulment Lawyer, where she recommended that couples get prenups, is the managing partner of King and Grido Law and is a legal powerhouse, a seasoned practitioner in the fields of family, tax, and corporate law. She earned her law and bachelor's degree from the Ateneo de Manila University. Please welcome back, Attorney Clark King. Thank you for having Hi, me. Hi, Clark. Back. How are you? <laughs> good, good. How are you? Thank you for being here all the way from Binondo. <laughs> My pleasure. So, uh, daming hiwalayan ngayon of celebs and news. Uh, and this topic came about because a friend of mine said, you should really discuss prenups on your show because so many of my female friends are getting prenups. So what's your observation about this phenomenon, if it is one? <laughs> Actually, um, really, these days, we are getting a lot of inquiries about prenups. It used to be a concept from the rich. Yes. Yeah. But now, these days, even those who are middle class, even right. those who are... Not even middle class, those are wage earners, are inquiring about prenups. Wow. wow. Why do you think this is so? I think it's because peop, uh, Filipinos are investing more. Mm-hmm. So they really want to protect whatever um, investments they have in case later on, you know, whatever happens, in case they separate or in case one of them falls into debt. So they want to protect that from, you know, from anything that bad that would happen. Right. Can you tell us about your experience with prenups in your practice? So for us, I've been practicing for seven years in family law around five years. So we have a number of cases for annulment and prenup agreements. Right. And uh, first, let's define what is a prenuptial agreement or prenup. So it's basically a marriage settlement agreement on how couples... Um, wish to govern their affairs like property relations, finances, support, you know, the like. Does it usually um, does it usually deal with money? Yes, I think um, for us, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Right. Clients right, right. who go to us, um, it's really about property relations, assets, stocks, right. um, properties, money. But how else can we uh, use a prenup for other concerns? For other concerns, usually it's about um, support. Right. Um, because child custody is not um, really a topic for prenup. It's against the law for you to decide. Oh, na, oh husband, you'll be the one to take oh, care of. Okay. It's, it's, um, it's really a mutual obligation. Right. Uh, so that's something that cannot be contracted away. Right. In the article that I sent you before mm-hmm. our interview, I saw something about Uh, there can be an infidelity clause that if 
the spouse cheats on you, you can have like some sort of monetary settlement or something like that. What can you say about that? <laughs> pwede ba yun? Pwede. Pwede naman siya include, but subject to being proven in court, it still has to go through due process. Right. So it has to be proven na uh, talagang naging, um, nagkaroon ng infidelity. Right. Before the damages can be asked for. Oh, yeah, okay. Or can be awarded. Right. So what are some of the common misconceptions? Like you said earlier, it's just for the rich or some are insulted pag ng prenup because it means like they love you less or what are the other misconceptions? I think it's more of the apprehensions. Mm. Na parang once you bring it up, it would cause the cancellation of the wedding. Oh, so that has happened. So far sa amin, meron na a few. Okay. But most of them, um, successful naman. Parang it's really more on how we approach it. Uh, it's it's basically a management uh, or being practical about the other aspects of marriage. Of course, you have love, you have children. Right, right. But you also have finances. How do right. you deal with it? Right. Um, we have had women who um, who are more naman wealthy, but who earn more. Who earn more than the than men. Than the men. Uh, uh-huh. At first, of course, when they uh-uh. approach the guys, it's usually met with shock. Parang, yeah, like, do you uh-uh. not love me enough? Is, right, not, right. is love not enough? But once um, they go through it, you know, it's really, you know, just putting the idea there. And once they see the agreement, the next thing is for the other partner is, um, how do I protect myself naman? Right, diba? right, right. So it's that, eh, it's more of... Love, it's more of doubt uh-huh. um, or distrust. Because uh-huh. right? it's like, are you do you not trust uh-huh. me right, enough? Right, na right. once we share our assets, right. feeling more, I won't manage it well. Uh-huh. So it's that. What is actually the state of the law when it comes to uh, when a marriage breaks down? What happens, ba? Ano ba yung ano? What so, is the state of things? <laughs> okay. So once you go through an annulment, it's actually an open book. Okay. Okay. That's why it takes long. Lalo na if there are a lot of properties. Ideally, it is half-half. Kasi conjugal, usually right. diba, it's half-half. But of course, there are a lot of things taken into consideration. Kaya, um, a house is not necessarily 50-50 yung when, you, when you pay for it. Mm-hmm. Diba? Uh-huh. Right. Or ngayari, education ng children who paid for it. So a lot of things are taken into consideration before the court will um, not really judge it, will guide you through the process on how, what is the most fair or reasonable distribution of the properties. Right. What's the basis for that? Ano yung fair? Fair depends sa circumstances ng mga uh, tao. So for example? So kunyari, yung isa... Um, also, uh, another guiding principle is the earning capacity oh, right. of each individual. Right. Siguro yun yung pinaka-basic. Um, we have had, oh, kanyari, nasa prenup, uh, you have to give me support 50,000 a month. Okay. For example. Kaso lang the guy um, got earn. demoted, uh, okay. ganyan, or um, lost his job, went to another job that's earning less. Uh-huh. So, hindi mo na pwede i-demand yung 50 as much as it is in the agreement. Right. You have to match it with the earning capacity of the guy. Right. So, ganun siya. A lot of moving parts. Or what about if it's a stay-at-home mom with no income? What happens then? Then, you ha- then yan. So, we base it on the earning capacity of the guy. Okay. And then, we will base it there on how much she will get per month. Uh, okay. So usually, ba, in the case of the women who are out earning the men, what happens there? What has happened there that you can talk about some examples? or um, An example will be, um, siguro, I, I know you're saying, ba, it's not for the rich, but a good example is family assets. Okay. So for those, um, um, I know a lot of us right now are second gen or third gen in family right. businesses. Right, right, right. So they have shares in their businesses, right? right. right? So those, if you don't have a prenup, those become part of your conjugal ah, property. So shared. Okay. okay. So kung may mangyari, half si husband doon. Okay. Any income that's earned there, half si husband. So it's usually actually the family who prompts the girl, the, the daughter, oh. na, oh, let's have a prenup. Okay. Uh, so yun, ganun. Um, usually the guy naman, on the other hand, would uh, usually apprehension talaga. Mm. Parang... 
bakit mo ko pinaprino? Feeling mo ba? Peperahan ko family mo. Oh, oh, diba? oh, oh. But in the end, um, we advise them, oh, you get your own lawyer. Okay. You have it checked on okay. your end because um, the family will not back down from this. Oh. It's really, it's, kumbaga, it's a prerequisite talaga for the marriage. And if you, right. kumbaga, if you really love her, right. then you would sign it. it. Because these are properties of the family. Right. Diba? And the girl is also earning a lot because she's um, of a high position in the family business. So yeah, in the end, they're still married right now. I think they're happily married okay. with kids. So, okay. Yeah. Others, naman, um, an example would be, um, eto, medyo middle class. Uh-uh. The um, the girl, um, she was an OFW before, and then she was able to invest in a condo, mm-hmm. a single um, studio unit. But she she really wanted to protect that asset. Mm. So yon, she came to us and we helped her with her prenup. It's really mainly for that, and we were surprised. And the guy was very understanding. Okay. About it. Okay, so even something as I'm not saying it's small, but yeah. something that's not like in the millionaire's yes, uh, that's life. Yes, right. Because uh, it's still a hearse, but right. it's hard earned money right. that she put into that. Property. Right. What about mga utang or financial trouble? Can you also uh, yes, inherit yes. that? <laughs> yes, you can Divided inherit by that. Divided by ano rin. Oo. Um, we have had cases na those um, couples who meron, we can't, ano, it's inevitable. Sometimes there are couple, or one of the couples are not good with, it's not good with money. Ah, no? okay. So, pag ganon, then it's the wife or the spouse who has to answer for that. Because okay. whatever that person earned from that, shared niya. So Uh-oh. whatever yung inungtang din niya, share din niya. Right. So are prenups for everyone? And most specifically, uh, I sent you an article also about Forbes calls prenups a girl's best friend. Do you agree with that? Yes, I do agree. Um, as you know, As women, we have to protect whatever we have. Um, it's putting us us on the same level as men. Mm-hmm. You know, um, especially women right now are more career oriented, right? And we do have investment, so I think we have to protect that also for ourselves. Especially once we separate, or not we? I mean, when we're <laughs> men who separate, no. If 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 there's a separation from the husband, uh-uh. usually for kids, uh-uh. diba? it's the it's the women who gets custody, right? Or most of the most of the time, they get the custody of the child. If it's usually if it's weekdays, diba, with her, sure she has to spend on her kids. She can't rely on the husband right. always, diba. Also, um, it's yeah for the kids for her own future. Because right. iba ganon sa annulment na once they separate, they don't have a prenup, so everything's shared, diba. Eh, may, like that, may utang yung guy. She has to share in the utang and she has to feed her children. She has to send them to school. And then the guy is just there. Wala na. Parang sitting pretty na lang. Uh, Siya yung okay. tahala dun. Okay. Mm. So what what should women ask for in a prenup? Like, for example, kung ikaw, <laughs> are you, uh, if what, when you do get married, do you think you're gonna ask for a prenup? And what will you ask for in the prenup? Okay, for me, um, it's, Number one, protect my assets. So investments. We have separate, um, separate, uh, div- separate or exclusive properties. Okay. So what is ma- uh, what we have earned before marriage? It's separate. Okay. What we earn during the marriage, we can, um, we can, co- uh, we can, um, sorry, we can identify it. Right. Which ones will go to conjugal funds? Okay. Or family funds. And which ones will be separate? Right. So, for the rent, oh, kung yari, oh, 50% of my salary, I'll put it into our, our conjugal fund. Same right. way with the guy. Uh-huh. And then 50% of our earnings will be separate. Right. Or um, when I buy property and with my own money, it will be separate. It right. will be mine. But if we buy property together, then it can be conjugal. Wow. Wow. Masalimut. <laughs> What will it take to get down to that level? Like, in your experience, ba pag aawayan bayan or what happens yes. during the discussion? 
It's usually pinag-aawayan in this. Kasi usually, uh, the process is one of the parties will consult already a lawyer. Okay. So, may draft ka na. Uh, okay. And then, that paper, you you give it to the other party. And then, they will review. Okay. Um, that's when, you know, the away comes in. Right, parang, right, oh, right. The percentage. Uh-uh. Um, but usually, in our experience, if it's family assets or if it's assets before the marriage... Usually, they do agree to have uh, it separate. Okay. It's usually what happens during the marriage right. that they're more apprehensive about. Right. What about this notion? Like, I hear women say, what's mine is mine, but what's yours is ours. Paano kung ganun yung mentality? Or unfair ba yun? If it's asking for support, Uh-oh. if it's asking for child support right. um, for the kids or for if the the girl is not earning enough, but then man, if the guy is amenable to that, wag na lang siya prino. Right. The Public Relations Society of the Philippines presents Breaking Down the Buzz: Best Practices in Communications and Public Relations. Each episode is a crash course in various comms and PR strategies that shape the landscape. Join in the conversation with thought leaders and industry innovators ushering PR into the next generation. Be inspired, get connected, and stay updated. Don't miss an episode. Like, follow, subscribe now, and kickstart your PR career growth with PRSP's Breaking Down the Buzz. So what's your advice in reframing? Let's say I, w- I want to get a prenup. Uh, what's the best way to reframe the concept of a prenup na parang um, as if to say I don't trust you with my money or baka peperan mo lang ako. How do we reframe it so that it's like a very practical tool for uh, what might happen or how do you like It's um For reframe. me, it's approaching it positively. And phrasing it as a win-win situation. Okay, for example. Because um, it's not, for example, for properties, right? When you're separate, um, talking about separating properties, it's not just for me. It's for you as well. Right. So it's you protecting your properties at the same time me protecting mine. Okay. So it's a, a win-win situation. It's not something that um, uh, just me... Uh, that something that's just applicable to me or mm-hmm. something that's applicable to you. It's applicable to both of us. So it's fair. Whatever is yours will be yours. Whatever is mine is mine. And then we can agree what's together. Right, right. You know, um, because most people would come in with that distrust or doubt when they when they see it as parang nagugulang sila. Oh, oh gulang diba? is the parang, word. Uh-oh. Oh, you're you're trying to get ahead of me. Na uh-uh. parang, okay, you're keeping all of these from me. Uh-uh. Whereas the conversation should be, it's for the both of us. Right. It's for your own protection. It's for my own protection. It can also go as far as, you know, if I go into debt, at least you won't be uh-uh. part of it. Uh-uh. Diba? Right. Uh-huh. So what's the best way to bring it up? <laughs> I don't think there's a best <laughs> there's way, no but, best way. But it's to be upfront and to be very honest about it. Right. And what? Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, it's definitely going to be a difficult conversation, but we just have to be brave enough to push through. Um, with our clients, we are pretty successful with them, so uh-huh. they are able to sign it. Of course, it's um, it's inevitable. It's a difficult situation. There will be certain um, apprehensions about it. But once everyone's clear about it and they know their rights and they're protected, uh-huh. um, they do agree in the end. What uh, kind of opposition can you expect to encounter? Oppositions. Yo and yung distrust, do you not trust me? Uh-uh. Um, do you think I'm bad with money? Right. So it's those things. Anong it's- sagot? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, no. Uh, we go back to it's a two-way street. Uh-huh. What if I fall into debt? I don't want that burden upon you. Right. The same way, I don't want that burden from you also. Right. And what has happened in your experience? Sa mga hindi nagprenup na nagsisen, na hindi nagprenup. Um, it's usually at the end, no. Sa ano, uh-huh. it really takes long, because they don't remember. Um, who paid for what? Oh, pati yun. Uh, who paid for what? How much is support? 
um, this property, how do we divide it? Uh-oh. Um, or they tried to find out. Some would keep properties from their spouses, diba? Oh, secret, secret lupa. Secret <laughs> lupa. Tapos mamaya, oh, meron pala nito. Oh. So they would bring it up. Uh-oh. Masasama na naman. Yung dating two properties, may pangatlo. Or how do we divide the third one? Okay. So it it takes yung annulment sana na shorter. It takes a bit longer because right. of property relations. Right. Do people uh, have this notion na if you prepare for something like that, are you actually attracting that kind of outcome? Parang, para bang uh, minamanifest mo na maghihiwalay? Ganun ba? Hindi naman. Kasi it go, uh, a prenup uh, applies to to all parts of the marriage. Eh. Because right. you, you, you contract it, you enter into it before the marriage, and it's applicable during the marriage and afterwards. Right. So, hindi naman siya lang for the afterwards. Eh. It's also during. Right. So, yun nga, kanyari, which, which parts of our property are part okay. of the marriage. And during the marriage, that's what, you know, applies to your everyday everyday lives. Right. Mm. Do you, uh, have you studied or read about yung mga famous celebrity cases nga of ganyan, mga nagpa-prenup? Usually nga, nag-prenup sila and then pagdating sa divorce, nag-aaway pa rin dahil oh, sa prenup because oh, okay. some, um, for those who are really, really rich, uh-oh. tapos for those, um, usually sila naman yung nag-prenup sa mga celebrities, di ba? Um, it's usually the families uh-oh. na previous families nung one of the couple, so one of the spouse, uh-huh. if they have a previous marriage. Like a first yeah. wife, ganun. Okay, may first uh, wife. Okay. Then second wife, magdi-divorce na naman si second wife. Okay. So, syempre, may, may prenup, so mag-uusap ng hatian. Usually, ang nanggugulo are the kids. Oh, so, okay. So, yun, ba't ang laki nang nakukuha nung... Ah, nung, pag-divide among the pag-divide kids. Pag-divide na. Uh-huh. Or, um, not necessarily divide among the kids, but it's, um, for example, the dad. So, the dad may first marriage with kids. Uh-uh. May prenup siya with the second wife. Okay. Kunyari, hati sila. Mahal niya, nung, mahal niya yung wife uh-huh. niya at the start of the marriage. O right. sige, hati tayo. Or whatever. Malaki yung share niya. So, at the end, kung malaki yung share ng second wife, usually the kids will try to stop that. Mm. Na wag mo ibigay yung half niya na supposedly nasa prenup naman. Oh, okay. It's trying to, you know, giving less. Right. But some naman, those who have prenups that, that go through divorce na celebrities, usually it's quieter. Uh-uh. Parang, lalo na if they are really um, mutually separating. Right. Then it's very quiet. Uh-uh. Then the, they would just follow the prenup. Right. It's usually the breakups that are hard or usually yung ganyan, may mga infidelity, may problems. That's when even if may prenup, pinag-aawayan pa rin. Oh, because of the other issues. Oh, because of the other issues. Right. They're, they're just trying to make it harder. Right, right. Mm-hmm. So, now you're gonna tell us <laughs> why every woman should ask for a prenup. <laughs> right, so let's go there. Um, So, our top five reasons why every woman should ask for a prenup. First is to protect your assets. So, this is to keep your own properties and income safe. Um, and separate so that you have something for yourself. Right. You know? um, this is also for you to spend on things that you want. Diba? Second is protection against debt and liability. So you don't want to have that burden of paying for the debts of your spouse. That It goes the same way with you. If you have your own debts, then right. you have to deal it on your, with the, uh, on your own. Right? right. Could that be taken as a sign of, wow, ganun ba? Uh, ilalaglag na lang yung kabila hindi ba tutulungan di ba what if yan yung reasoning there can all you can always ask pa rin naman eh. it's just that yun yung default uh-huh. to help your to help your spouse then uh-huh. so kanya rin nalugi yung business, business. mo uh-huh. kasi pag nalugi yung business di zero out na yun di ba uh-huh. nothing to pay out anymore kasi it's lugi right. na but if share kayo then there's now another source uh-huh. sa spouse right 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 so Parang it's also protecting your spouse from whatever debt or liability that you may have. Eh. Uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Okay. Really forces you to be an adult. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And if the other person needs help, you can always ask. Right. Naman, okay. Uh-huh. okay. Okay, next. 
Next is protection from previous marriage of oh, the spouse. Oh, right, right. So if um, the this, this spouse has children from previous marriages, para naman your own savings, hindi masama sa support. Ah, uh, tama. If he doesn't have anything to give, then that's it. Right. It will not overflow. The responsibility will not overflow to you. Okay. Okay. Um, third is business interests. So yon, um, it's like I said, it's a two-way street. It's to help them be responsible with their own business ventures. So yon, usually sa business talaga yung pag nagba bankrupt, pag nagkakautang sa suppliers, and then here comes the suppliers. Lalo na if it's a sole proprietorship. Uh, so pr- sole proprietorship kasi in the business, all of your assets, personal assets, is included. Eh. Oh. So once the creditors come, and your property relations is conjugal, everything is conjugal, you cannot, the creditors will now be able to tap in into... So they can go the for pool. that condo you're protecting. Correct. Yeah, oh, that's right. Okay. So it's to protect you from, from that. So a prenup will stop that from happening? Correct. Ah. The prenup will stop that from happening. Okay. Kumbaga, these are exclusively mine, so you cannot touch that. These are not his. Right. Yeah. Okay. And vice versa. Vice versa, <laughs> <Because correct>. <laughs> All the women's one. <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay. vice versa. And lastly, of course, it's peace of mind. Right. For yourself. You know, it's you don't know what's going to happen in the future. It's basically preparing for the worst. Of course, right. you always hope for the best. <laughs> and you prepare for the worst, right? So it's just preparing for the worst. Protecting yourself. Making sure that you have a retirement plan. You have everything set for you. Wow. And for your kids, if you have kids. So, may forever ba? <laughs> forever utang. <laughs> forever. <laughs> so, maybe may forever, pero meron ding ways na protektahan ng sarili para yeah. in case hindi forever. Yeah, and it's one of those things na one less um, thing to fight about. Right. Diba? Couples do fight about money a lot. Uh-uh. So, if you have a prenup, sinat na natin. These are the rules during our marriage. Right. This one less thing to fight about. Wala, right. separate tayo. Right. These are the rules. You just follow it. Right. Yeah. Pwede ba nga yung ibang rules besides money? Like, di ba, like I mentioned, uh, infidelity clause or ano pang pwede? Um, About may behavior yung isang spouse na... Sabi niya, babaguhin niya. Pwede ba yung isale or hindi na yun legal? <laughs> yeah, hindi na yun legal. Hindi na yun legal. But it will go through annulment kasi. Ah, uh, okay. Because since we don't have divorce then. Right. So, yun. So, right. it will go through annulment. Okay. In okay. terms of behavior, attitude. Okay. Uh-uh. What else do you want to say to all the female and male listeners out there? Siguro if there's one thing um that, yeah, at the end of the day, prenup is basically administration of your finances and those okay. practicalities around your marriage. That's the main focus of Pina. Of course, you can include other things, right? Yeah. But it's basically that. And of course, um, if he loves you, he will sign the <laughs> Yeah, na. <laughs> right. Okay, wow. And then, for you, <laughs> in your own case, how do you what do you think about this whole thing as a as a woman of high earning power and a successful woman? No, high earning uh, power. <laughs> um, I think it's a good it's a good um direction to go. Uh-huh. Uh, for me, I will be thinking about that right. when I get married. Um it is not for everyone, no. Uh-huh. Um of course we're in a society that's very um Conservative still. Yes, yes. But you do see families who push for that. Uh-huh. It's very extreme, nga eh, right, right? As right, much right. as we're very conservative, there are families who push for that. Uh, no marriage if you don't sign this. Oh, okay. But at the same time, for those us, middle class and those who are earning our keep, it's a very good way to protect ourselves. Right. It's a good way to, you know, think of ourselves first. Right, as well. right. Yeah. I love that. Sharp and one lawyer, ka expected na yun. <laughs> Thank naka-draft you. na pala. Uh, naka-draft na sign here. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thank Attorney you, Claire, for coming back. And I hope this uh, illuminated the path for many, whether you are getting married or just thinking about your future, especially your financial future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for listening to You Can Do This. If you want to know more about me, visit Mirza.com. That's M-Y-R-Z-A.com. And follow me at Mirza Season on Instagram, Facebook, 
YouTube, TikTok, Twitter, and LinkedIn. If you like this episode, please don't forget to rate it five stars. Hit the follow button on your podcast streaming platforms and hit the notification bell to get alerted every time we release a new episode. Catch you at our next convo and always remember, you can do this. The opinions of podcast creators, hosts, and guests are not necessarily reflective of the official stance of the Pod Network Entertainment, its hosts, or other network programs. The content created by the people behind the podcast is personal and not meant to harm any religion, ethnicity, group, organization, company, or individual.